Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Dan. I'm Craig. And we are going to review three Lucky Cereals today. I'm going to review Lucky Charms. I'm going to review Fruit Loops. And I'm going to review Tricks. Alright guys, open up your box, see if you got any sweet toys. Oh. Ow! Whoa, cool! Oh. 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 I got a this knife! Stuff. I got scissors! Oh, guys, I think I have to go to the ER. Oh, guys. Oh. Oh, it smells like poison! <coughs> oh. Well, have you clearly seen before, the cereal was a little dangerous. And, well, Craig went to the ER and, uh, he's in the bathroom bandaging up his, uh, stitches. Oh, here he is now! Craig. Oh, hey. <laughs> what happened there? Uh, I just got a cut on my hand. I just had to get five, six, uh, thirteen stitches. Whoa, Three what inches. happened to the toy? Um... Yeah, did you keep your toy? Yeah, it's right here. Oh, nice. Jeez. Yeah, I don't know. Then we can All play. Right. Pepper spray. Sweet clamping action. Yeah. yeah, come on, spray it. Don't uh, see. Oh, oh, my eyes. <laughs> God, don't spray that anymore. Uh, Alright, guys. Pepper right. spray. Enough with the toys. Let's review uh, these cereals. Mark, you can go first. Well, this is Lucky Charms, a Milton Bradley favorite. Well, <laughs> when you start out, this is a limited edition double clover. That's true. And, well, let's just see here. Um. Calories, 110 Lucky Charms. Total fat, 1 gram. Cholesterol, 0. Sodium, 190. This isn't for the older or the big people, but, you know. So, yeah, I'm just going to try out the cereal and see how I like it. Alright, here's the milk. Not as much marshmallow as I want, but... Shut up, Jeremy. Okay. Shut up, we're making a movie. Shut the hell up. Okay. Pass that down. Okay, I'm out of review. Alright. Ooh, it's got a rough Now that's nice. What do you think about the texture of the cereal? Hmm. It's got a promiscuous kind of bland Cheerio kind of feel. Like. So it's kind of old school? Yeah, not not a lot of fun. Like, What about the flavor? It tastes like wood, you know, like solid oak. Like. So Cheerio. while Lucky Charms has always been thought of as a kid cereal, kids who are looking for an exciting cereal shouldn't eat the Lucky Charms. Well, the cereal is not just for the cereal, also the box. Well, on the back of the Lucky Charms box, it says, Pick the Real Lucky. This looks pretty hard for a 5 to 10 year old, so I don't see how this is much of a kid cereal kind of game. And on the bottom, there is a puzzle that you cut out with scissors, and it doesn't say anything about asking a parent to help you. You're saying that they want the kids to use scissors to cut out this box? Well, there's no parental advisory, so... So, they really it's didn't pretty, give any warning. At yeah, least it's they pretty included dangerous. a scissors with it. Yeah, they even <laughs> gave you a scissors with it, so they're basically... Well, Mark, it seems like you're done here. What's your final rating? My final rating is... 6. <laughs> 6 out of 10. Hmm. Lucky Charms. That's not very good. Alright, Mark, now that you're done with your cereal, why don't you go ahead and review yours, Dan? Alright. I'll be reviewing Fruit Loops, which is made by the Kellogg's Company, which is a very renowned company in the cereal making industry. Uh, this uh, has uh, low fat, which is only one gram of fat, and 11 essential vitamins and minerals, and only 120 calories. Now, one of the thing I will, things I would like to point out here before we move on is that the word fruit here is spelled wrong. It is spelled with two O's instead of a U and an I. That is a good point, Dan. It's spelled incorrectly. It does corrupt the mind of children. All right, well, let's test this out. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> that looks 
as delicious as this chocolate mom. <laughs> Indeed, I agree. Well, looks can be deceiving. Let us test that for sure. All right. For sure. We're about to take our first bite. <laughs> mm. Mm. How is it? Scrum de Delicious. Scrum de indeed. Mm. Very, very good. good. The texture is uh, very uh, loopy. <laughs> and the taste? <laughs> oh, the taste is just okay. May I have some? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wanted some before Mark stuck his dirty little fingers into it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he cleaned them. Mm. <laughs> I'm sure he stuck them in a dinosaur's butt. That this screws up the nutritional value of this cereal. Well, anyways, uh, why don't you take a look at the back of the box? All right. <laughs> anyways, why don't you uh, tell us what's on there? A bird. It's like a gay bird pirate. A gay bird pirate with um, um an octopus and oh, oh, a perverted bird looking at his butt. Mm. Those look like scrotums. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So, tell me. Final judgment. What do you give the score? I give it a 8.5 out of 10. Mm. That, that's a pretty good score. It it's is. It's, uh, it's B. Yep, a B. It's above average. All right. Well, all right. I'm going to be reviewing a personal favorite, Tricks, made by General Mills. Um... Tons of fruity, little fruit shapes. Um, it's very healthy. It's made of whole grain. You've probably seen the commercial before. It's got 120 calories, 1.5 grams of total fat, um, 13 grams of sugar, which really isn't that bad, and there's a gram of protein in that. Um, Alright, well, I'm just going to go ahead and take a bite of this now. And as you can see, tricks. Bricks kind of went away from their old fruit shapes to put them into just circles. Um, the orange has always been like this. I've seen oranges circle, but the berries, the the little bananas, they're not the same. Mm. They're just little circles. Uh, still the same delicious taste. Let me just pour my milk here. Um. Great texture, great fruity flavor. The kids, the mom, the dad, the older brother, the younger brother, they're all going to love this cereal. Um, you can pour the milk in one spot and just make it all crunchy, or you can just pour milk all over and make it not so crunchy. I like it crunchy. Mm. Mm. Oh. And if you're really daring, you can mix all of the cereals at once for a very, very mm. inspiring taste. So, Greg, I see it's pretty artistic. What is, uh, what are they valuing on there? Well, it looks like it came with a B-movie spoon. <coughs> this doesn't look like a spoon to me. And the that looks like a sharp knife. I must say, the B-movie pretty much sucked. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, it was... They couldn't put super bad on there. No. Yeah, I don't think that'd be children appropriate, and I think Trix is... Alright, anyways, let me finish my box Ooh. here. As you can see, they have some sort of puzzle here where you move Ew. from hive to hive. You get points, you lose points, you do challenges, that kind of thing. You start, you finish. You can play with a friend, you can play by yourself. Um, God, that looks like a sweet spoon. Wish I didn't get the knife. So, Greg, uh, what would you rate this cereal on 1 to 10? Um, I would give it a, I'd give it a 9. It's a delicious cereal, and the kids love it. The only reason I didn't give it a 10 was I missed the, the shapes, and the B-movie sucked balls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I guess that concludes it for here in the uh, cereal circle. We're just going to go ahead and finish our bowls of cereal. Mm -hmm. And we will see you later. Yeah. I'm going to hit chapter.